Welcome to Jebby TV. I'm ready to face trial in Hague for defending Biafra and Namdekano. The leader of IPOP Namdekano has said he will not hesitate to face trial at the International Criminal Court in Hague if protecting Biafrans against wanton genocide attacks by killer husband and terrorists warrants his appearance at the ICC. Kanu made a declaration on a, broad, on a live broadcast on Radio Biafra on Sunday. He lamented the persistent provocations and extrajudicial killings by security agencies across the southeastern region of Nigeria. The IPOB leader accused the world of keeping silence over the plight of Biafrans despite complaints and petitions by IPOB as well as indicting reports against the Nigerian authorities and security agencies by some reputable global, global agencies, including the UN Rapporteur on Human Rights and Amnesty International. He said apart from alleged state-sponsored oppressions and blatant marginalization ex and exclusion against Biafra, killer headsmen and terrorists had continued to attack communities in the region unchallenged by security agencies. Headsmen will attack us, rip our women, destroy our farms, kill our farmers. Nobody will arrest them, but when we try to defend ourselves, the government will come after us, rolling out the tanks and using the helicopter gunboats, he lamented. Kanu explained that the incessant raids by herdsmen and the silence of the Nigerian authorities to tame criminals gave birth to the creation of the Eastern Security Network to protect Biafran locals against terror. He, however, regretted that instead of going after the perpetrators of the grievous crimes against innocent citizens, the Nigerian government rather chose to declare war on mere volunteer vigilantes as demonstrated in Thursday's airstrikes in Olu. The IPOP leader accused the world of keeping silence over the plight of Biafrans despite complaints and petitions by IPOP as well as indicting reports against the Nigerian authorities and security agencies by some reputable agencies including the UN Rapporteur on Human Rights and Amnesty International. He said apart from alleged state-sponsored oppressions and blatant marginalization and exclusion against Biafrans, killer headsmen and terrorists had continued to attack communities in the region unchallenged by the security agencies. Herdsmen will attack us, rape our children, destroy farms and kill farmers with nobody arresting them. But then if we try to defend ourselves, the government will come after us, rolling out tanks and using the helicopter gunboats, he lamented. Kanu explained that the incessant raids by herdsmen and the silence of the Nigerian authorities to tame criminals gave birth to the creation of the Eastern Security Network to protect Biafran locals against terror. He, however, regretted that instead of going to the perpetrators of the grievous crimes against innocent citizens, the Nigerian government rather chose to declare war against mere volunteer vigilantes as demonstrated in Thursday's airstrikes in Olu. The IPOP leader who said the Olu military raid signified the beginning of the Second Nigerian Biafran War said he would mobilize people in defense of their ancestral land irrespective of their consequences. If defending our ancestral land against conquest by Fulani Janjaweed invaders would take me to the, the Hague, I'm ready to go to the Hague, Kano said. The world has the indicting report by the UN rapporteur against Nigeria, but they have not done anything. Do we have to wait until we are all killed before we defend ourselves? Kano said the world watched helplessly as the Nigerian government used force against mere peaceful agitators, while on the other hand it dialogues and facilitates amnesty and payment of ransoms to bandits and terrorists who have not shown any remorse or sign of stopping their killing spree. According to him, world leaders ought to have demanded a proof of Nigerian leaders, including some northern governors and Islamic clerics over their romance with bandits. He said he would declare 40 days of prayer and fasting by next week for Biafrans all over the world to seek God's presence and for more spiritual fortification for the task ahead. Kanu, who insisted that Biafra has a Jewish foundation, said Israel can never be defeated by the enemy because of Abraham's covenant with God, which, according to him, also follows Biafra. He expressed optimism that Biafra would soon be restored despite stiff opposition by the Nigerian state and her collaborators as well as internal traitors. Wow. Honestly, he's already been a confident man and he's been doing this for so long. Um, good luck. If that's all you could say, obviously. Um, where I sort of have like a little bit of a concern is with the reliance on 
international help and the UN because it's the lack of trust for me. Like it is with how the world works. I just hope because Nigeria has a lot of enemies and a lot of you know background invisible faces i believe personally in my opinion that are you know just they don't want the country to move forward and they literally put in tactics to make sure that happens which i i is my opinion that's what i believe but i i just don't know i just hope that if for nigeria to let the afro go like what would it take because it was a first compromise that led to this position when the Yorubas and Igbos compromised with the Fulani to or they compromised against less than the Fulanis to basically fight for one Nigeria an independent nation but then the, the desperation that made them compromise has led to what Nigeria is today it's not it's not their fault but the compromise le- I don't know it, it's it's very very hard but I just hope that in a bid for you know let's say um, Biafra or IPOP seeking for international help they will not have to compromise again because everything is a deal everything is give and take at the end of the day but you just have to find the best deal and where they can get the best support and honestly that's just what it is um again it would be the same thing as with history and with every war if it was to happen where it's the communism against capitalism and of course the Nigerian government will have the British, the American on the side, and in the Biafran, they would have, you know, other other countries on their side as well. So, yeah, it, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, obviously, everything is getting worse, but we don't want the worst to happen. But it might be that the worst is inevitable. And, yeah, someone says, I have never believed in succession in the past, but with the current situation of this country, I salute Inam Dekano for his bravery and love for his people may chuku okike abiyama be with you someone says what kind of rogue justice system in nigeria here oh we have a rogue justice system in nigeria here rather therefore i can't advise mnk to submit himself for trials again in nigeria imagine no it's not in nigeria icc international criminal court which ah this whole world is all corrupt (laughs) imagine that the people were arrested alongside Rochas Okorocha yesterday, were granted both of 70 million naira each today. Yeah, Nigeria is a... The abnormal thing is normal and it's just... I don't even know, but... It's sad. It's very, very sad. But this is what Nigeria has come to. It's... It's very, very bad. Um, <laughs> I, I, At this point, you just don't know. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what the next move is going to be. You don't know what could ignite some kind of trend and hate again. I don't want to say the government has won because a lot of Nigerians are traumatized. They don't want to go out and fight, which obviously is justified because it's a, it's you have to be mentally strong to to last long in this kind of revolutions. And I believe it's a revolution. I believe that things will happen. It might not be in our lifetime, but we have to take responsibility to be responsible, hold people accountable and make sure the next generation is very, very aware of what is going on, to be very honest, because yeah, it's very it's very sad. Um, Someone here says, when we get Bihafra today with MNK and our amiable Senator Abarbe and our generations to come, we shall be proud of us in truth I stand. Someone says, only fools don't know agitation of freedom is everyone's right everywhere. But, again, would you say this world is a world where you can exercise your freedom like that i don't think so put what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe